Good day, one and all, and welcome to Real Time Strategy Week within Strategy Month with Lady Top Hat. I'm going to be playing Age of Mythology Extended Edition. What's the Extended Edition? Well, it works on Steam for one, and it has Titans and it has a couple of other things that are added in, and there's also some DLC which I'll explain a bit later. Now, this is. Very similar to other real-time strategies that I've played before, notably the Settlers. And, well, it's got heavy components of a city builder in it, but of course then there's also all of the combat. Now there's quite a few options that you have. Um, you can play single player, online, LAN, and you can. there's even an editor. So you can actually create your own uh, land. I'm not going to do that, but cool. Isn't it? Return to main menu. Uh, so if you wanted to get creative, then you could make your own landscapes and things. Um, but what I'm going to do, as I've been doing for quite a few of the games, is I'm going to just spend one episode on playing the tutorial. And then we're going to go into all of the other options that are available. So let's go to learn to play, first of all, for those who haven't seen the game before and this begins with a little bit of a cutscene so let's listen to what um, Athena is going to tell us Athena being the um, ooh, Greek goddess here we go Age of Mythology is a game of heroes and monsters mighty armies and epic deeds lead your culture through the ages from humble beginnings in a small village to mighty citadels protected by the power of the gods. Tear down the walls of Troy. Battle giants in the frozen wastes near Midgard. And fight armies of Anubites in the shifting sands of Egypt. The gods, as a token of appreciation, may someday reward you with great earth-changing powers in Age of Mythology. <gasps> Dum, dum, dum. Today, your task is a simple one. That's the good. hero Arkantos has sailed to an island far from his home in Atlantis, seeking the Cyclops. The slaying of this mythical beast will bring great glory to Arkantos and his hunters. But before we take on the mythical creature, we must learn how to march. Left click and there on we have it. To select him. And now we are introduced to some of the basic gameplay. Uh, just quickly, then around the screen, we have up here the online civilization chart. So, um, whichever race you start playing with, whether that's uh, the the Greeks, the Egyptians, or the uh, Norse. Each one has four stages, Archaic, Classical, Heroic and Mythic, and each of these unlocks different things. You can see them all there. We're going to see those in the game. So let's go back. Remember, um, left-click a unit to select it. Yes, she's going to get frustrated with me going through these things. Uh, diplomacy towards other players. So um, we can certainly play this uh, in multiplayer for one of the live streams that's going to be coming up soon. Um... And I could, uh, we could give things to one another if we wanted to, and we could chat to other players. So those are really for the um, for the multiplayer option. Uh, this is the menu, and um, this will fill up as we go along. And our objectives are in this button here, and we it's as simple as selecting the guy. Now, before anyone points out that I'm playing as a guy. This is only the tutorial, and for the rest of the Let's Play, I'll, um, well, for most of the Let's Play, I'll be playing as a woman. Uh, but there's plenty of options to do so in this game, and there are plenty of females in the game, so it's absolutely fine. All SJWs can wind their necks in. So, let's do what uh, Athena's asking us to now do. Now right-click near the blue flag to move along the path. So you see, when I've selected him, you see his uh, hit points, his armour, and his uh, PS armor and his health settings. Um, this is um, 
this is who I am, and this is my god. So uh, I've selected the guy, Arkantos, yes. and I've told him to move over here. If you're ever unsure about what to do next, check the objectives banner. Yeah. Click the flashing objectives banner to see your current goal. There we go. Move your Continue mouse along to the top the path. of the screen to scroll the view in the main game window Hold to the man. next flag. Well done. Thank right you. Right click the ground near well the next done. flag to keep moving down the beach. Here come the other Atlantean warriors. Splendid. Drag a box around Arkantos and the other men. All of the hunters are now selected and will move in a group. Continue down the path to the next flag. The best thing is what all the little people say when you tell them to go somewhere. Listen. Hulame. Hulame. <laughs> Arkantos and his men have not yet explored this part of the island. No. So part of the path is still hidden in darkness. Golly. The black area represents unexplored territory. Ballista. Scroll Ballista. the screen up until you see the next verse. This is where the beast's trail continues. Hulame. Right click Hulame. the flag where the trail continues beyond the black area. Excellent. Continue down the path to the next flag. Ballista. Sorry, I got a bit bored there. <laughs> Ballista. Notice the diamond-shaped window at the bottom right corner of the screen. Here. This is the mini-map. The mini-map shows you where you Hulame. are and also places you haven't explored yet. Left-clicking on the mini-map will instantly move the view in the main game window. Like so. When you're ready, continue down the path Net. and seek out the Cyclops. Uh-oh. Cyclops. Where are you? Ballista. Well, there's more and more dead bodies. Cyclops. <gasps> to attack, make sure your units are selected. <laughs> then right-click on the Cyclops. Oops. There we go. Ooh. Again, the gods bless us. <laughs> you are victorious. Uh, and I do want to show you the next scenario, which does form part of the tutorial. So let's carry on. We have returned. Valiantly. To properly honor the gods, you must gather 100 food, 100 wood, and 100 gold. Then build a temple. The displays in the bottom left corner of the screen show that you already have some food. But if you're going to gather more resources, you'll have to use what food you have to create or train a villager. The flashing structure is a town center. Left click the town center to select it. Now click the flashing button to begin training a villager. Training a villager will cost you food. When training a unit, you can check the progress by looking at the flashing icon at the bottom of the screen, just to the left of the minimap. Well done. Well done. You've trained a villager. <laughs> to gather resources, Left click on a villager Process, to select yeah. him, then right click on the resource. For example, the flashing goats are a good source of food. With a villager selected, right click on one of the goats. Esto. The villager will gather food Esto. until he has a full load, then return to the town center to drop it off. Well done. The villager will continue to gather food until you tell him to stop, or he runs out of goats. And there we have it. Look, additional oh, look. villagers have come to help gather resources. <laughs> Splendid! Select another villager and put him to work by right-clicking on the flashing farm. Esto. Esto. Are there any Greek watchers? Now gather wood from trees is this Greek and gold that they're from speaking? Gold mines. Or is it made Select up? Select a villager, then right-click the resource. Right. Etimus. Off you go, chopping Etimus. trees. You Etimus. go, chopping trees. Etimus. You... Etimus. Metalifts. <laughs> right, what have we got? If We've you're got... ever unsure about what to do next, check the objectives banner. Click the flashing objectives banner to see your current goal. Okay. What does she want us to do? Gather 100 gold, 100 food, and 100 wood. So down here, you can see uh, how much of the food, wood, and gold we have in stock. 
and how many people are working on those. Uh, if you played the game, the original version back from the 90s, then uh, this wasn't here, but uh, someone made a mod for it and um, it ended up being implemented into the game for real, which is very handy. Uh, now they're gathering food a lot quicker than they're gathering the other things, so I'm going to set... Prostagma. Prostagma. Metalefs. Metalefs. Uh, to go and collect gold. And which is the slowest? Prosiche. Prosiche. <laughs> you have plenty of wood. Well, plenty of wood? Thanks very much. What are we supposed to be doing? You have plenty of food. Splendid. Oh, a hundred, a hundred of each. That's what they wanted. A hundred of each. There we go. You have Gold plenty is being of delivered. Well done. Well done. You have the resources to build a temple. Splendiferous. Select a villager. Notice the buttons at the bottom left side of the Prosiche. screen. These are the buildings the villager can build, such as houses and granaries. House. Left click Granary. the temple button. Granary. Then left click the main game window to place it. Right. Let's put a temple down. Here we go. Eh. Temple. Ballista. Now, it's going to start building that. Objective. Select a villager. Did a little uh, where you want to place a table. The yes. villager that built the temple has started to worship. Oh. And your favour is increasing. This is the favour, the lightning thing down here. will make your favour rise more rapidly. Select additional villagers, then right click the temple. Okay, one of the gold diggers. You're not the boy the gold digger. There we go. Both worshipping. Let's move them away from there so you can see them. Come round this way. Oi. Come here. Now get praying. There we go. Now you can see them. <laughs> Look quite dramatic. Right, what are we doing now? Earn five favor. Okay, so um, there's two peeps. Your offerings have pleased the gods. Oh, well, and there we are. Now, do we do? Hmm. Let's see. I think we'll leave this episode here, and I shall decide whether to show you any more of the tutorials. I suppose we should we should look at combat really uh, before launching into the main game. For now, I shall bid you a fond farewell and a tally ho.